From the land down under, with the rock at its center, comes the little Aussie watchman. And T-Law today, the Australian Christian Lobby. What absolute legends. They have been on the line of fire, holding back the godlessness that wants to ravish this nation and destroy its inherited Christian values. I say inherited because many who follow those Christian values are neither Christian nor beyond Christian in name only. However, the mercy of God allows righteous living as a stalwart against the ravages of our spiritual enemies. A major plank in its success for 2016 was the voting down of the Equal Opportunities Bill in Victoria, Australia. This bill would enforce both Christian schools and churches to hire staff that did not adhere or share not only their faith, but also their values. Imagine a cross-dressing bisexual being able to teach in a Christian school. As a Victorian director, Dan Flynn, commented, the bill appeared to be driven by an ideological agenda against faith-based communities. That's correct. An ideology whose conception is satanic at its core. While its advocates may not know the real source for their madness, for they are caught up in a satanic deception, thankfully we have the Australian Christian lobby to help as a political wall against Satan's wishes to harm our country. The other plank of success for the ACL is the voting down of the Births, Deaths and Marriages Registration Amendment Act Bill 2016. This bill would allow biological males to change their sex on their birth certificate, legally allowing them access to female change rooms, toilets, domestic violence shelters and female-only gymnasiums. I can almost hear in the back of my head the lily-livered, do-nothing, brainwashed Christian claim, but Christians should not be involved in politics. However, consider this. Why was slavery banned in Western countries? Because Christians involved themselves in politics. Why do we have Judeo-Christian values enshrined in our legal system? Because Christians involve themselves in politics. Why does our system of government not allow our leaders to have absolute power? Because Christians involve themselves in politics. Why is individual freedom cherished in Western democracies? Because Christians involve themselves in politics. When Jesus said, what is Caesar's, is Caesar's, he was essentially saying that when the laws of the land do not interfere with our Christian faith, we are duty-bound to follow them. Christians are meant to be salt and light. How can Christians be salt to a nation without being involved in politics? It is often when Christians shirk their responsibility in the political sphere that persecution, godlessness, and outright unashamed rejection of what is pure, right, and obvious occurs. The current initiatives include launching a Human Rights Law Alliance in Australia to protect religious freedom in Australia. They have been involved with cases involving street evangelism, doctors practicing according to their conscience, and the ability to have free speech within work and public spaces. The enemies of God, while trumpeting tolerance, seek to shut down Christian speech. They are extremely intolerant of free speech that involves Christians speaking truth in public spaces. The ACL have also launched an initiative that introduced the motion to declare the slaughter of Christians in the Middle East, along with Yazidis and minority Muslims, as genocide. Act out your faith. Pray for these brave pioneers. Support their mission and get involved with the fight in politics.